Hi, I'm John McDermott with the Orland Volunteer Fire Department. We're here at FDIC 2017 showcasing our Ascendant Aerial 107 ladder. Orland is roughly 100 miles north of Sacramento in California, basically halfway between San Francisco and the Oregon border. Today we'd like to take you on a little tour of what we built. Uh, starting out here with the uh, bumper, we added these grab bars with rear lighting so you can actually see at nighttime when you go to grab on. It helps to clean the windshield, it's a nice safety factor. We uh, added the turn signals off to the side to give us more code 3 lighting in the front. You can obviously see our, see our sirens. Coming back over here, we are able to add more uh, lit grab bars. And in the cab, one of the best features that we like for our operators is the uh, panoramic view windshield. The only thing that really is in the way is the uh, backup uh, screen, which really doesn't play a part, gives the operator a great chance to do a windshield size up without any, uh, any obstructions. We also added a howler, a Whelan howler, that's mounted up underneath the bumper you can't see. That also helps us get through traffic. Uh, moving back, in the rear compartment, thanks to one of our, uh, one of the multiple suggestions we got from our uh, dealer representative, was to add these grab bars to help getting in and out of the apparatus much safer. We also added the uh, Smart Dock SCBA holders, uh, just very easy to get in and out, in and out of the rig safely. We also added the uh, LED uh, tank level gauge and upgraded our. Uh, lighting. We have a uh, Watrous 2000 uh, GPM uh, pump. We also added the Husky foam system, which we're really impressed with. Did some training at the factory. We we're very impressed with uh, what the foam system can do. Looking forward to using it. Something very new for us is a total pressure governor. Haven't had one before. Looking forward to using that. Um, we like the fact that you can just hit a preset and it goes automatically up to the uh, PSI that you want your uh, pump to run at. Um, very easy layout with all the gauges, especially with which uh, uh, valves are pre-plumbed with foam. Moving back, um, engineer's compartment, uh, two slide-out shells, gives us plenty of space. This is roughly four if not five times the space we have in our current vehicles. This is something that's very nice to have. Uh, with our downriggers or outriggers, um, we had the laser uh, added, and so now one operator can actually come out and throw down the pad with a nice green X that's put on the ground. It makes it very, very easy for one single person to, uh, uh, to basically get the ladder into, uh, into functioning. Over the uh, wheel well, we have um, plenty of tool storage. It's the same thing on the other side. Again, more space than we've ever been used to having. Very nice. Uh, easily uh, or easy to mount our tools. We uh, had a uh, excellent time at the factory talking with Sherry at the graphics department who gave us multiple suggestions and loved all of the uh, suggestions she gave us to not only the paint scheme but also the graphics to add. More compartment space, you can see how deep it is. Uh, love the fact that we can have plenty of room for all of our tools. Heading up to the uh, turntable, easy access. Without it being said, safety is the most paramount thing in our department, like most departments. Lit grab bars, easy to get up. You got the angled ladder to get up to the platform. With that being said, up at the top of the platform, 107 feet up there, uh, we have a uh, scabbard that's attached to the end. Uh, we also have a, a ladder that's uh, attached behind the um, graphic panel there a uh, regular axe and a trash hook up there. <laughs> Around the back side we have uh, ladder storage for roughly 99 feet of uh, ladders um, in both these compartments. Uh, more storage for uh, chainsaws and gas equipment. Coming around to the side We, we opted to get uh, to omit the, um, the ladder uh, to the access to the turntable and based on uh, John Bauer, our, uh, our dealer rep, he said we could turn this into a cabinet which we're going to make into our medical compartment. Easily hold our medical gear, suction AED. 
something very important to us because we're 100% volunteer. We wanted to pay homage to not only the volunteers from the past, but also our current volunteers. And we picked out this graphic for that. Uh, again, tons of space. Uh, in this compartment uh, is our extrication compartment, uh, battery powered tools. We had AC power uh, plumbed in so we can uh, run off of shore power, uh, keep our extrication tools charged. Very, very clean layout. We love the fact that we have access to all of our lighting from uh, not only uh, that pump panel here and then in the cabs. Uh, 35 uh, storage for 35 feet of uh, LDH uh, hose. And then again on this side you can see how easy it is to get in and out of the cab. That 10 inch expansion here for a 70 inches total I believe. Uh, just going to make it very nice to ride in. Well, thanks for watching our video on our new aerial ascendant ladder. Uh, we'd like to thank Jim Johnson uh, from Pierce. Also, like to thank Bill Wright and his folks at Golden State Fire. Uh, like to thank John Bauer especially for providing the best Pierce experience ever. And definitely enjoy the fire show at FDIC 2017.